Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with a review today of Pumpkin Coconut. I'm just rolling right through these fall reviews. This is currently a White Barn exclusive. I got it at a White Barn. Might be coming to Bath and Body Works. We just don't know, much like the other White Barn candles I've been reviewing lately. This one I thought was going to be a failed test scent. It wasn't even going to make it to White Barn, so I was really happy when I did see it at my White Barn and had to grab it. The notes on this one are toasted coconut, pumpkin puree, and a dash of vanilla. And as soon as I smelled it in the store, I immediately recognized it as very similar to coconut vanilla, which was formerly known as vanilla coconut. And this one, this version, you can still get in Bath Body Works stores now. And they are very similar, but they are not the same. This one, pumpkin coconut, it has the same kind of coconut and the same kind of vanilla as coconut vanilla. But what was always interesting to me about this one is that even though it smells like coconut and vanilla, two edible things, it doesn't smell edible. It's more of a perfumey coconut vanilla, kind of, I guess. Uh, it's not at all bakery because it's not very sweet, I think. And so what they've done with pumpkin coconut is they've sweetened it up. They've taken coconut vanilla, but it's sweeter and it becomes something that smells edible now and it becomes a bakery scent. Pumpkin, there's a little bit of pumpkin spice in it, but just a little. Just enough, I think, to give it a little bit of a fall feel, but it's not super spicy. I actually think that, like the pumpkin spice cheesecake, the picture here nails it. I could imagine this candle smelling just like this, some type of spiced cake or pumpkin spiced cake with that shredded coconut, that baking coconut on top of it. I think it's yummy. I mean, but I like bakery scents. And, you know, I'm not a huge fan of vanilla coconut or coconut vanilla, which is why I still have this really old one halfway full. I think because it's not that sweet. And so I like this much better, actually. Uh, strength and throw wise, it's kind of in the middle. It's medium. It's good enough. It's like a seven. Fills up this room, but doesn't go much out of it. And you definitely know it's there. You definitely know a candle is burning when you've got it going, but it's not like hitting you in the face. Now, fall scents, typically they're spicier. They usually are more like eights, nines. So this one only being a seven, it could be better. But like I said, there's not a lot of spice in it. I think they could have put more pumpkin spice in it and it would have been more fall-like and also a little stronger. But it's still really good, really scrumptious. And I can't say anything bad about it. It's performed really well. Uh, it's still not totally solid right now as I'm doing this review, so I can't tip it for you too much. But the wicks do need to be trimmed between burnings, but at least they're not puny. I'd rather have that. And I really think that this review will be pretty short because I don't really have much else to say about this one except I like it. I hope it goes nationwide. Uh, I think if you like bakery scents and you like coconut, you will like this. You know, if you like coconut cream pie or coconut cakes, anything like that, that's what this smells like. So no complaints about it. I'm four for four so far, liking the candles that I got in last week's haul. I will be back with the fifth one, which is pumpkin sugar cookie, pretty soon. Until then, you can follow me on Instagram, at Wake Up Writing, and I'll see you later.